Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Magnus's Loot Crate Heroes Con 2019 special. Boy, I had a good time. And I only got to go on Friday. So, and yeah, well, I would have liked to have gone for the whole weekend, but yeah, money was kind of a problem. <laughs> but I still went and I still had a blast. Although, if I see another Funko Pop figure, I will shove it up somebody's backside because I'm sick to death of them but without further ado ladies and gentlemen boys and girls let's just dive right in now this this was a find from the heroes con that I it, it's one of those items that you just cannot pass up now I will be showing this again in the middle part which was pre-recorded because I had to record it the day of because it's all the stuff I can't really show on the turntables you'll you'll hear all this again you'll see that item again <laughs> this item again ladies and gentlemen when you have to absolutely have to paint all the happy little trees right this minute Bob Ross's positive energy drink this was a find I really just could not pass up because who doesn't like Bob Ross I mean seriously but this was the thing, as you can see, it was four bucks, and this is after after I've been to the after I recorded this, I gave it to the guy at the coffee shop near where I live, and he was totally happy with it. So I can I can honestly say it went to a great cause because every time I go in the coffee shop, I'll see Bob Ross's face just smiling right at me. All right, <laughs> let's get on to the next one. Now. I have to admit, I'm really not into Legos per se, but this is one I, I really couldn't pass up because I, even though I'm not really into Legos, I had to kind of look through the stuff. And when I found this one, I was like, "How much is it? Four dollars? Eh, screw it, <laughs> I'll take it." Who could use a little small Lego Optimus Prime? I mean, really. <laughs> so, I I picked this up. It honestly, it is kind of adorable, and I may I may give it to the guy at the coffee shop like I did with the Bob Ross, the Bob Ross energy drink because A loves Legos, well Lego people, and why not? I mean, it, it's not something I really display. I, yeah, I might keep it. It's it's something I'll think I have to think about, but this is definitely a find for for the ages. So. Of course, the ladies and gentlemen, Lego must <laughs> Now, this is an item I got out of a mystery box I bought. And it was a Transformers mystery box. Came with a couple of comics, which you'll see in a minute. Came with a couple of little toys. And, you know, just odds and ends. And uh, one of them I actually forgot to record. So I'll throw the picture in, like, right after this one. Show it right quick. But this... This is the uh, reissue of the G1 Hot Rod, which I'm actually going to hang on to this one because I already had one, but I'm going to hang on to this one and use it as a giveaway prize for Magnus's Loot Crate. So if anybody's interested in the G1, vintage G1 Hot Rod, keep watching Magnus's Loot Crate. At some point, I'll have a contest or draw it and give it away. But as it stands right now, this is a very nice little item that, you know, it was in a mystery box, so that's why there's not really any price tag or anything over off to the side. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I was hoping to get the G1 Metroplex that was in one of the mystery boxes. They kind of told me they'd put one in there. But hey, you know, can't want them all. But it was a nice little addition. And this over here is the item that I got <laughs> that I forgot to record on the turntable. I put it away and left it at home because I'm, you know, 
it's 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 just a little statuette, so you'll see it in five, four, three, two. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a stranger part of the Magnus's Loot Crate's Heroes Con Edition. This is the part where I cut out all the background screwball, different background and thing, and now you get to see exactly what is behind me, which this is new. I'm recording this part of the video first, actually, so you actually kind of get to see what's in the background. Now, why am I doing this part this way? Well, this is all stuff purchased at the convention. That just, it's not gonna go on the turntable. Now, as you've probably seen, I got some stuff out of a mystery box. One of the things would be this, this issue of G.I. Joe and the Transformers. You can probably tell by the, <laughs> by how much it costs, US and Canada, it's pretty old. Not as old as I am, but still pretty old and I also got this one yes that is I'm supposing General Hawk holding the matrix of leadership have not read these now comes the fun part where I get to show you the t-shirts and up first now for any of us who are kaiju movie fans you probably know Ultraman and you probably know his little I forget what they call it. It's been a long time since I've heard the name of it. But this t-shirt was one that I could not pass up. <laughs> that is the shirt in its entirety. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <laughs> up next, I waited a year to get this t-shirt because they didn't have large extra large or anything last year so this is it's death metal charlie brown <laughs> actually the title they gave it was charlie black but no it's death metal charlie brown kind of like it's the great pumpkin charlie brown or it's this or it's that yet another shirt that i picked up was the heroes convention logo t-shirt i'm wearing the one i got last year and this is the one I'll wear next year. When I go to next year's convention and I buy next year's shirt. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me, it's a stupid little tradition. Yes, I am a weeb, so I got my favorite character from Bleach. An extra large. You know, because why not? Now, I also got some prints some things to hang in my bathroom just for the giggles I got that that very nicely done pictures and I got that one yes old man Magnus is a pervert now shut up also found some prints of the Transformers Fembots they were a deal at you know however many for however much I got RC RC and the other fembots so definitely something I had to pick up it's kind of short on scratch this go around but still the main purchase is yet to come in the video but those are some of the odds and ends I picked up up to this point mostly cheaper stuff and of course now this video is also sponsored by my new favorite energy drink it is Bob Ross brand positive energy drink if you want to paint happy little trees as fast as you can for hours pick up a can of Bob Ross positive energy drink and with that, that's all the stuff that I got that could not be shown on the on the turntables. And with that, let's move on to the next one.
Now here's a statue I got at the convention. Uh, apparently it's a Sword Art Online character. I didn't really care. I just looked at the skimpy outfit and said, ooh, that'll look nice on a shelf. That's just the way it works. I think I told you already. A little bit of a dirty old man. So <laughs> it, it's actually a pretty nice figure. It was $25, as you can see. I wish I could, you know, remember some of the names of the stores, but you know, some, some of them did carry business cards, and sometimes I just forget to ask. I did get a couple of business cards, but that was for places that, oh, hey, you know, this place makes a t-shirt. But this is a nice looking figure. And it, uh, it comes in two pieces. The head apparently comes off. So this is the Marie Antoinette version of this particular item. So, but there you go. This is, uh, this is one of the little statuettes I bought while I was there at the convention. Speaking of statuettes, this one was a little bit more expensive than the uh, than the last one. This is uh, apparently Portrait of Pirates Nami version BB, and uh, this one's got a nice little story behind it. Forty-five dollars, as you can see. So I, I, I overspent my limit just a little bit, but the story goes: I was standing there <laughs> waiting to buy this this particular character, and a lady was standing kind of beside me and she was looking at a different statue apparently the guy thought we were together somehow I don't, I don't know if he thought we were a couple or just friends or whatever but <laughs> he was about to charge both of our purchases as one purchase and uh, just and the lady beside of him in his booth said wait she's not with him and I said yeah man what's the matter with you can't you tell the difference between a weeb and a pervert <laughs> So, of course, Nami in a bikini always gets my attention, so I had to get this one. It's got a nice little stand, and it'll look great on a shelf. So, why not? There you go. That's, that's the only reason you need to buy anything, to be honest with you. Now, folks, for this final piece that I got from Heroes Con, this was one I would not have expected to found. I went to the convention with the express purpose of looking for third-party Transformers, but this was a rare bird right here. Fans Toys FT-03C Quake Wave. Now, this the reason it's so rare is third-party companies kind of, they, you have to strike while the iron is hot. And this was like a clear, clear version. Because as you can see, it's like made out of sort of semi-translucent plastics. But it looks gorgeous. And I mean, it looks really nice. And this, uh, <laughs> I'm actually going to replace my Masterpiece Soundwave, uh, Shockwave, excuse me, with this one. <laughs> because it's gorgeous. I mean, look at that. And it's, it's a beautiful piece. And even even the uh, gun mode, as you see here, is gorgeous. I mean, it. This is definitely a piece of. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm just not even going to do the little transformation thing. But I may put this in a later loot crate video when I'm showing off more. Yeah, you know, all my transformers, and I may re-record this part too. But now this 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 was just. I was so happy to find it, and for $120. I mean, on the box, the price tag says 125 but the guy just knocked the $5 off, because I guess he could tell I was just thrilled to find this thing. And I was, I was just, oh. But this, this has been, this is, this has been one of the things I'd kind of not dare hope to find. Such an old, and, and it is old, it's one of their first pieces, I think actually, as a matter of fact, this was their first release. Uh, Quake Wave was. I don't know about this one in particular. I'd have to look up more information. But 
for figure that old, I consider myself a damn lucky. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is the end of the Magnus's Loot Crate Heroes Con 2019 special. I had a blast. I hope you guys love the intro that I cobbled together, all with permission of the people I filmed. And it was just, it was just a fun experience. If you ever get the chance to, and so fain, I know you're there. Uh, but yeah, it, it was, it's, it's, it's one of those things. If you can make it out to Heroes Con, look for me, or find out if I'm there. I'll go, I'll hang out with you all, all day, and we'll, we'll hunt for loot together. But it, I hope you had as much fun watching this as I had with making the video. <laughs> I hate that I forgot to add in, to, to do a turntable of that one, but you can't win them all, and this was just a fun, it was, it's always fun. I mean, just the people in the cosplay, the, the, the stuff you can find. No more Funko Pop, please, Heroes Con, for the love of Christ. I do not like Funko Pops. I do not want Funko Pops. Tell people to leave them at home. I don't want to buy any, <laughs> if, you, if, they, if they got rare ones, that's fine, but they had every Funko Pop ever made at this convention, in every booth, and it was just ridiculous, but that's my only complaint, uh, it, it, that was just pretty much it, if you ever get the chance to, come with old Magnus, out. this is actually the, the, the place that started it all. Technically, Magnus's Loot Crate started because of Heroes Con 2018, because that was the first place I found third piece uh, masterpiece style third party masterpiece style transformers. So maybe I'll find some more next year. I plan to go. So with that, until next time, have a good one. This has been Magnus's Loot Crate.